Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun geometry problem. So let's take a look. Uh, so our goal, we have a regular star, so that means that all of the sides of the star are equal, so it's symmetrical, inscribed in a circle, and we want to find the area that's outside of the star but inside the circle. So go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to try this out yourself. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump into the solution. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to think about what we're going to be solving for here. Let's look at the holistic picture. If I was to look at one of the points of the star, including going into the center, so that area in green, what we're essentially trying to find here is my area red, so that red area is going to be equal to the area of the circle minus five times the area of the green section. Okay, because it's symmetrical, I can find five times the area of that green section, that'll give me the total area of the star. So I'm basically subtracting that out. And we can already see, since we know the radius, that the area of the circle is going to be pi times the radius squared, which is just pi times one squared, which is pi. Okay, so the area of our circle is going to be pi, so we're doing pi minus whatever the area of the green is. So our real goal is to find the area of that green section. So let's go ahead and define some variables here. So I'm going to split the radius from the center out to the edge of my circle into two sections that I'm going to call uh, Z and Y. And then I'm going to look at the line segment that goes from that center of the intersection to the edge, and that's going to be called X. Okay, and then I'm going to look at two more values, so I'm going to split this right here, and I'm going to look at two angles. So the first angle I'm going to look at is right here, and this is going to be an angle that I call uh, alpha, and I'm going to also have this angle up here that I'm going to call beta. Okay, so now I have two angles defined and three distances defined. And what we notice is that if I have x, y, and z, I'm going to be able to calculate our total area. So we can go ahead and look at that area in the green. So area green is going to be equal to 1 half base times height. So that's going to be the area of this bottom portion plus the area of the top portion. So we're going to have the area of this little blue section plus the area of the orange section. Okay, and the area of the blue is relatively straightforward, so the area of the blue section is going to be equal to 1 half base times height, so it's going to be 1 half times 2x times z, which is just xz, and the area of my orange section is going to be 1 half base times height, which is going to be 1 half times 2x times y, which is going to be xy. So my total area in green is going to be equal to xz plus xy, which is just x times y plus z. All right, so I have uh, part of my problem kind of cleaned up a little bit. So really what I know is if I can get x, y, and z, then I'll have a solution to my problem. So let's work toward that. So first, let's look at this pentagon. So it's a regular pentagon. So since it's a regular pentagon, I know that the angles are going to add up to <clears throat> uh, 540 degrees. Excuse me. Okay, so 540 degrees, um, which is also 3 pi. So I'm going to write down 3 pi. So I know that 2 alpha is going to equal 3 pi divided by 5, which tells me that alpha is going to be equal to 3 pi over 10. So I'm using radians. We like radians in math. So we have 3 pi over 10. And that's actually going to end up being 54 degrees, if you're interested in uh, degrees. 
So we have a measurement for alpha, and because we have a measurement for alpha, we can also get a measurement for beta. So we know that beta is going to be equal to 180 degrees, which is pi, minus that 2 alpha, which is going to be equal to pi minus 3 pi over 5, which is going to end up giving us 2 pi over 5. Okay, so I now have alpha and I have beta. So I have those two angles. So how do I get x, y, and z from alpha and beta? Okay, so let's look at what uh, that angle alpha can tell us about z. So if we look at alpha, we can use tangent to say that the tangent of the angle alpha is going to be equal to uh, the opposite over the adjacent, so the opposite is going to be z, and the adjacent is going to be x. And I also know that the tangent of beta is going to be equal to y over x. Okay, so I have these two guys together. So let's look at this. So I can see that z over x plus y over x is going to be equal to tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta beta. So z plus y is going to be equal to x times the tangent of alpha plus the tangent of beta. But I already showed up here, you notice that y and x, z together make up the radius. So I know that y plus z is going to be equal to 1. So what does this tell me? This tells me that x is going to be equal to 1 over the tangent of alpha, which was 3 pi over 10, plus the tangent of beta, which is 2 pi over 5. Okay, so I have a value for x now. And what do you know? I also found this value for y plus z. So now I know that my area of my green section, which was x times y plus z, this part is 1, is just going to equal x, which was 1 over tangent of 3 pi over 10 plus the tangent of 2 pi over 5. So now I have an equation for the green area, and if we look up above, what we wanted to find was our area of the red. So our area of our red region was our area of the circle, which we calculated to be pi, minus 5 times that green area, so 5 divided by that tangent of 3 pi over 10 plus tangent of 2 pi over 5. And this is actually our answer here. And this will end up being about 2.019 radians. Make that approximate. Uh, and that's going to be our, or not radians, that's going to be our area. So that'll be our total area. It'll be uh, pi minus 5 over tangent of 3 pi over 10 plus tangent of 2 pi over 5. Thank you very much for working through this problem with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your own video that you'd like me to do, please feel free to submit it and I'll work through it on my channel. And as you're working through problems yourself and you start to get stuck, think once, think twice, and when you really need to, think thrice. Thanks.